Hello everybody, how goes it? Rabbitsmore here, and this is more of a proof of concept than a tutorial for a mob sorting system using a dog, a cat, and a villager to actually sort the mobs out into their correct locations. So I'm going to be going over how this works, and I'll also be including an MC Edit schematic that you can download and check this out in your world. And if there's enough interest in this video and in the comments, I'll be putting out a full tutorial on how to build this, but this is mostly just to go over how it works for now. So, like I said with this design, we're using a cat, a dog, and a villager to separate our mobs out into the correct areas here. And I had worked on a design earlier using snow golems to separate the mobs out, but I found a bug in the recent version of Minecraft where if a snow golem hits a zombie, he stops chasing villagers and it kind of breaks that system, so hopefully they will fix that later on. But as far as this design goes, it actually works really well on sorting the mobs out. It has just about a 100% rate of sorting them correctly, into the correct areas here, and you can see you have an area for creepers, an area for zombies, and an area for skeletons. And it works by having these skeletons run away from the dog into their pit, the creepers running away from the cat into the area, and the zombies chasing the villager into this pit right here. And I also have a gate here, so that we don't have a ton of mobs collecting up in here and pushing each other into the wrong areas. And that is hooked up to a clock that I have underground here, and hooked up to this redstone that I can turn on and off. All right, so I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration of this actually sorting the mobs out, and I want to point out that this doesn't have spiders going into it, but I will be showing you later in this video how to sort out your spiders. It just happens before they get to this water stream, since they won't fit into this. So, with the other types of mobs, we have our creepers, our zombies, and our skeletons, so I'm going to switch it to night here, and set our difficulty to easy so that our mobs can spawn, and I'll quickly spawn in a creeper, a zombie and a skeleton, and I'll do another creeper, zombie, and skeleton here so that we have a bunch to show being actually sorted. So now if I just flick my lever to set my clock up to the gate, it will open and close on a timer so that only one goes through at a time. I'll go ahead and flip that on now. You can see it opens our gate, the creeper comes out, runs from the cat, the zombie chases the villager, and the skeleton runs from the dog, and it should happen again. Creeper going to that side, Zombie should go straight ahead, and our skeleton to the right. So again, you can see, has a really good success rate of sorting out the mobs into their correct areas here. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to separate out spiders now, just in case your mob farm system does have spiders in it. And we're going to be using this orange block as a reference as to where our water is coming in over here. And I have two designs set up for how to separate out your spiders. You can see the orange block would be where it would be going into the separator later on. So our first design here is a two wide tunnel with water going in a diagonal from here into this diagonal on this side. So it would push all of our mobs along here. Zombies, skeletons, and creepers would go into this tunnel. And since spiders are two blocks wide, they can't go in there and they will go out this side here. So then you could do whatever you wanted with your spiders out this way and everyone else would get sorted in the sorted system over there. The second design is pretty similar. We have another block of water here pushing diagonally here. The spiders will go under this one block tall, two block wide area since no one else can fit in it. And the rest of the mobs will go out here. And I'll do a quick demonstration to show that each of these work here. I went ahead and threw a ceiling on here since the spiders can climb up and swim in the water. But if I go ahead and spawn a spider in here and some of the other mobs, we'll be able to see that our spider goes up to that side and goes through the one block tall area there that no one else can go through. And the rest of our mobs go out the single side here that would go into our sorter. And with our other design here, I'll go ahead and throw a couple of different mobs in here as well. We'll be able to see our spider goes out the end in the two block wide area, and the rest of them go out the single wide area. And if you wanted, you could do the same thing here by putting a one tall area if you wanted. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for this video. I, again, I just wanted to show how the system works and kind of gauge interest, if, see if you guys were interested in seeing a tutorial for how to build this. And again, I will be including an MC Edit schematic in the comments, or actually in the description below this video, so you can download that there and check it out in your world if you want to see how this works. But of course, if you want to see me build a tutorial or show a tutorial for this on how to build it, you can always ask in the comments and I will gladly put up a video for that, so don't be afraid to ask. But that, that's pretty much it, guys. So, as always, thanks for watching. Have an excellent day, and see you later.